Hello, good morning. In this video, we are going to explore how to use Copilot in Power BI Desktop. This report is the same one we work on the first video, where we use Power BI service with Copilot and explain the difference between the plans. Now, we will focus on the specific capabilities that Copilot offers on Power BI Desktop. Let's go. First of all, to use Copilot in Power BI Desktop, you need to be connected to a workspace enabled for um, Copilot with the right capacity, with the right capacity, and have the minimal license required for Copilot. Once we are connected, we can start preparing these reports so Copilot better understand the data we were working with. On the home tab to the right, we have the data preparation AI. Here are the three key features that we need to solve. First, we need to simplify the data model. We reduce the model size by removing columns, tables, and measure that we are not going to use with Copilot. After that, we need to verify we have verified answers to anticipate questions and end user might ask and define answers in advance. To do this, we have to select the visual click in configure verify answer and copilot suggest possible question from there you can add context and customize the answer according to the business line and the third is instruction for ai you need to add context guidance for example you can specify that all questions related to revenue must always use the income statement table the more we prepare Copilot with context, the better response it will give to the end user. A good report isn't only about missions. It's also about clarity and context. Often we forget what a measure does uh, after a few months. So in the model view, you can select a measure and use preview with Copilot. Copilot will analyze the DAX formula and generate an automatic description, making it easier to document and understand the model. One of the most powerful use cases for Copilot is the help with Bitly DAX measures. In DAX for review, you can ask Copilot to create a measure. And for example, we ask Copilot to create a measure of next income here to, to date. Copilot generate the measure. We clip keep query, then update the model with change, and the measure is automatically saved in the selected table. This is extremely helpful when you are stuck and you don't have deep knowledge in DAX. It's great. And for calculated column, the process is slightly different because Copilot does not insert them directly into the model. Instead, it generates the DAX query with or the evaluate, the add column, etc. Same sample. Then, in this case, you need to copy the relevant part of the formula and paste it manually into new column. Example: If we want to extract the year from a date, the income statement Copilot might return all this formula. But we actually need is just this expression: the year income date. It's important to interpret Copilot output and adapt it to the model. It's not always just copy and paste. You need to understand the context to apply it. Finally, Copilot can also be used for queries over the model and to create visuals. You can act to generate charts, tables, comparison with external data, or even an entirely new recap page, for example. We can ask it to build a page with the most relevant KPIs, including line charts, column charts, and cards. Copilot should reach this page automatically based on the model context. And well, that's it for today. We hope Microsoft expanding Copilot across all the versions so everyone can practice and take advantage of this full potential. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel and see you on the next video. Bye-bye.